Hey folks, welcome back to the Portable Gamer, welcome back to European Truck Simulator, and welcome to Reims, France. We are back at our base after 20 episodes, 19 episodes. We were in Metz at the end of the last episode. I wanted to find a dispatch from Metz to Reims. I didn't find one, so I deadheaded up here. I repaired the Scania 164. It needed a couple hundred euro of repairs. I got the repairs done, came to our garage, pulled inside, and we slept... I slept twice. So it's 11.15 and we are going to swap out our truck. I think that was the plan. And I talked, I talked about getting the Madster MAN, which I have in my mod folder. I love it. It's one of my favorite trucks, but Then I got to thinking, and I decided we we are go with the DAF. So I came in last night, couldn't sleep, came in last night, went ahead and skinned it. It's a metallic skin, so the blue, this is our blue, this is our company blue right here, which is also the blue of the French flag, and our, you can see our metallic blue in the actual truck body is a little different, but... I think it's going to work. And other than that, we had also talked about some other modifications to make, and I couldn't really find anything. I think this truck is set up pretty much the way we want it to be. We've got a 460 brake horsepower Packard MX340, and we've got a 12 speed with a 3.08 diff. Now we could go with the 16 speed with 3.4, maybe a little bit better on the mileage. Uh, we could do that interior wise where's my interior interior wise we've got the standard we could go exclusive and eh, i don't know how i feel about the wood I don't know what the difference is between these two just some upgrades there uh, as far as goodies throw a little stuff on the floor what do we need here uh, where's my where's my cooler right there there's my cooler. There's my my black cooler. And we'll put our little duffel bag on the seat. Right? Go with that one. Uh, don't know how I feel about anything on the back wall there. I've never never really liked that look. Looks a little dangly something up here. Give us uh, a little first order. The dark side. Let's see if we can find something better down here. Go with the Lambda? Yeah, we'll go with the Lambda. Uh, I don't think we need anything there. Take a look outside again. We've got Hankook. Front and rear. Feeling pretty good about that. Uh, I like our side skirts. Good there. Yep, let's call it. We have 230,000 euro. This is going to be about 35,000. And we are good to go. And then we are going to drive it. Oh, seven hours. It's going to bring us in at 8 o'clock. You know, I might just sleep again. I might just sleep again so we can get started in the morning. Don't want to do any more night videos. I mean, I do. I, I like driving at night. You know that. But you can't see anything. And that's no bueno. Take it. You know, I, I complain about it, but things actually load pretty fast. Let's take a look. I'm happy with that. We've also got the... We've also got the open pipe. got the open pipe sound which I love oh it's a great sound so it is 6 p.m. let's go ahead and just pull in here and sleep again we may have to sleep twice but that's okay All right. set the brake lights off what do we got 
3 a.m.? No, we'll go one more. No, it's not letting me sleep. Oh. Curse you, game. Curse you. Let's go. Okay, we'll do a nighttime job. Now, I'm looking to go down, down toward the coast. I, mean, I wouldn't mind going straight down to Spain. I want to get down to Bilbao. Is it? Yeah. And we can either go straight or we can go down the coast. So let us, let us see what is departing from Rheims headed down that way. Nothing, really. Um, Strasbourg. I don't want to take anything heavy right now, though. Not in this truck. Lyon. It's going the wrong way. Eh, yeah, it's going the wrong way. Paris. Take a dump truck to Paris. That's also going to Paris. Well, looks like it's going to be the dump truck since it won't let us sleep. And then we can... Okay. So it goes. Now. How far is it? 118 kilometers. Hmm. And how long is left on it? I always forget to do that. I always forget to see how long is left on the job. And then we don't get there in time. Let's see. That's way up here. Where's my dump truck? Two hours, 24 minutes. Uh-huh. I don't think we even would have made it. Would not have made it. Um, okay, so we won't take that one. Leon, that's going from the same place, but it doesn't expire for eight hours. Hmm. Something to think about. Um, boy, this is incredibly complicated and uh, kind of kind of boring. Now... I take this, yeah, and then we get there, we'll, we'll just swap it out for a different trailer. So we will go to Paris. Right, and that's a kilometer away. Lights on. Break off. And here we go. Yeah, this is the open pipe V10.0, I think. I think it's a great sound. It really adds to this truck. Which is... This is a weird truck for me. It's... It's a great truck. This is the 50 k to DAF uh, 105, 106. I really ought to look these things up. I don't. I get in a hurry. I get so excited. It's a great truck in the base game. 50 Kata's version, I think, makes it even more super awesome. Then, yeah, that sound pack. It's just a great truck all around. Right. It's a great truck, and I don't drive it enough. I know Scania gets all the love in this game. For good reason. They're good trucks. And the RJL is legendary. Right. And then, and the MAN, the Magister MAN, gets a lot of love. And I feel like the the DAF and the Iveco, some people say Iveco, they sort of fly under the radar. You know, they don't they don't necessarily get the same love as some of some of the other trucks. But I'm pleased with this one. All right. So this place is right there. Curious how the how the skins are going to match up. Skins on the trailer and the skin we made for this truck. And of course, when I say we, I mean me. So we'll get hooked up here. Bit of a slow start to the episode. That's fine. Right. Freight market. Where's my little guy? Right here. Beautiful. Lots of trailers. So, 
Um, let's find a good. There's the NTM with our look logo. That's an NTM. And then we get in the base game. So let's go back over this way. I think if I can find the carry four axle, there's one of those with our livery. That's where I'd like to be today. We'll see if we can find one. All right, so we're getting into the carry. Dolly, Dolly, Dolly. That's a two axle. That's a three axle. Uh, maybe it. That's a three axle. Yep. Okay. So we'll go with. And what is it we're hauling? Can't even remember. Right. No time to waste. Where is this thing? Uh, there it is. I was just thinking, as we were coming around this bend, this looks like the same same depot layout. From one of our first videos, I think we were in Birmingham. And every time we crossed a certain point in the yard, the game crashed. And I finally tracked it down to that dodgy trailer. Well, let me, let me amend that. It's not a dodgy trailer. It's just the way that I have my mods set up. Trailer, the trailer pack could be fine for all I know. Nope. I can see from here that I missed it. But at least I figured that out before I smacked into it. Which is a bad habit of mine. One of many. That's no better. What's going on with me today? What? Huh. So, something about the angle is looking a little bit funny today. Right, let's uh, let's take a look at our rig. How do we do? Eh, it's, it's decent on color. I mean, obviously a difference, but... Hmm, okay, pretty, pretty profound difference. We may have to address that off-camera. 216 kilometers. Perfect. A little short trip makes sense because we've been dilly-dallying around here with various housekeeping items. But you know what? Sometimes that's the way life works out. you got to do a little dilly-dallying. Well, we're in a new truck. I had a great time with the, the 164, but I think All these weeks is long enough and it's time to move on a little bit. Right. So it's a Friday where I am as I'm recording this, Friday the 13th. I don't know how I feel about that. Not a superstitious person by nature. Come on, head tracking. Give it to me. Give it to me. Right there. My head tracking isn't tracking right now. What's up with that? And this traffic is no joke right now. Let's 
see if we can creep a little bit. Yeah, I'm keeping the episode. I'm, I'm leaving it all in. You know how we do. This is... Oh, that didn't help at all. Oh, yeah. Really? Pretty compelling, huh? Is that, is that an air warning? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay. Right. That was exciting. And when I say exciting, I mean that was the opposite of exciting. Holy smokes. Sorry about that. All right. And we're rolling. And we should be there. Yeah, for all this drama, we're going to be there in about five minutes. And then once we're there, once we're in Paris, I, as I recall, Paris has a pretty big depot. Uh, several big ones. So hopefully we can find a trip down the coast. Uh, ideally, we could find a trip straight into Bilbao, but if not, at least down that way. We'll head down that way. Right. This truck pulls differently than the 164. Different torque curve. You can definitely feel it straight away, and I'm so used to the 164. We spent a little money on the truck, what, 30, 36,000 euro, but we, as much as we slept, I feel like we made up some time as well. Not time. What's the other one? Money. That's it. Yeah, not time, but money. We made up a little money while we were resting from our long trip. try the fast pass this I don't know why it makes me nervous I think it's because I've been jammed up a couple times by the the whatever where you go rolling in there at 29 kilometers an hour like exactly according to procedure and the little bar doesn't raise and you just smash into it that's happened oh yeah I've also hit invisible walls where and it, you know, of course, it's always my fault. But I think the toll booth has a green light, so I hit it. You know, hey, look at me! I'm gonna fast pass, and there's an invisible wall. It instantly, a hundred thousand euro of damage to the truck and lose the whole cargo. You know, because I'm good like that. Now I think, if I recall correctly, let me try to do this without. Got that, got that, yeah, get back to it, right there. So 14, 1400 liter fuel tank, so we've got 3300 kilometers just in this tank. So that's the nice thing about a 4x2 is you get those massive fuel tanks, go anywhere you want. I'm pretty sure we can make it almost all the way across Europe with 1,500 liters of fuel. 1,400. Eh, 1,500 when it's full. Yeah, it pulls differently. It could be the, could be the axle setup as well. I don't know. It could be a lot of things. But yeah, you can feel a difference in this truck. It's not necessarily bad, but it is It's definitely different. That's what we wanted, though. Mix it up a little bit. Uh, let's go over here. Ooh. Let's see if we can 
to do that fast pass lane again. I call it fast pass, easy pass. That's the the U.S. terminology. I know there's different different names for that setup in different parts of the world. Okay. Probably could have gone down one more gear, but too late now. I'm really being mindful, and I never really have before. But I'm not. I don't know what caused it, like what got into me, but uh, I'm more mindful of fuel economy than I have been in the past. So I'm trying to keep the keep the revs in that green zone, the eco zone, you know as much as possible. And I also can't tell, you know, we had the, we had our 164 four by two, but that was a long time ago, that was weeks ago. Then we went to the 8x4, right, when we got into Scandinavia. Then we went to the 6x4, I want to say. Or did we do a 6x2 tag lift? I can't remember. But then we went to the Richard with the cooler box on it, the reefer box. And that's a long wheelbase. And I feel like being back in a 6x2... It, it certainly feels like we have a lot more maneuverability and one of the reasons I wanted to get a 6x2 as we head down toward Bilbao you'll see when we get to Bilbao I don't know what madman designed either the real city of Bilbao or the ProMods interpretation of it for ETS2 but it is just so tight and tiny little exit and entrance ramps on the freeway weird tiny traffic circles it's a really really tight city it's very challenging I don't think there's another city like it anywhere in pro mods I it's fun but it's definitely like the idea of taking a, a rigid truck with a with a long dolly trailer through Bilbao is a little bit intimidating I'll be real with you so I'm I'm excited to be uh, heading to Bilbao, but I I wanted to do it in a 4x2. Uh, I like I like challenges, but I don't like to set myself up for things that are so difficult they're almost impossible, or that would be super frustrating, or that would be you know not that wouldn't make good video. Paris discovered. I thought for sure we'd been in Paris already. I guess not on this profile. I know. Not proper traffic circle etiquette. I know. Try to do better on this next one. And we also have Grimes, uh, the Grimes Rebuilding Paris. I think it's 2.4, 2.4, 2.1. But it's a it's a cool mod. It's very subtle, but it it changes some things in Paris, and I think it it definitely adds to the immersion for me it does and I don't know where our delivery is with regards to the suburbs or downtown I know some of the bigger cities particularly in pro mods are are pretty decentralized pretty spread out and really give you a feeling for you know that a city would be more than just a few square blocks 
like some of the smaller cities feel like. And I, I understand that you need to... Yeah, this is... This feels like Grimes here. I understand you need to... Uh, there has to be a bit of artistic license when it comes to modeling these things. I get it. You know, we're looking for... Uh, not a feeling, that's not the right word. Uh, you know what I'm saying. Uh, interpretation, uh... Oh, help me out here. I need my words. Uh, like, uh, symbolically. Sim to symbolically represent a sy Whoa! That was uncalled for. I thought I had a little bit more room to play right there. That, that we would uh, symbolically represent a city, but not literally represent it. Yeah, I feel like this is... Although I've been running this mod for so long, it's hard to remember what Paris looked like without it. But I want to say that this is all Grimes. I'll wait. We're going to be at our, our drop-off in a minute. So what I'll do is... When we get to the yard, when we, when we drop this delivery off, I will take a look. I'll see if I find anything going down the way that we want to head. If I do, maybe it, we just go pick it up hook it up and then end the episode there, and then we'll pick it up from the yard next episode. We'll see. We'll see when we get there. We may not even have anything going down that way. Although, out of Paris, I would think that we would. There's typically a lot of, a lot of cargo leaving the bigger cities. through there without hitting anything. Swing wide and hope for no traffic. Perfect. I love the way the time compression works in this sim, that it it's seamless. You don't have to do anything and you don't feel it jump up and down, but if you don't know how it works, essentially when you're out on a highway, it goes to, what, 15 to 1 or 35 to 1 or something? But then when you come into a city, it drops down to 1 to 1. And what makes that for me, what makes that great is the beginning of this episode. Well, I guess it was closer toward the middle, but the beginning of this delivery, we got caught in traffic, leaving Rames, and the time wasn't, we sat there for probably, let's say we sat there for four minutes. Well, at 15 to 1, that would count as an hour of drive time. That would also count as an hour against our, our next rest break. And that's not really, I don't want to say it's not fair, but that's not cool definitely not cool so when you're in a city it backs down to one to one so that the minutes that we sat there counted as as proper minutes is this a yield oh so glad I asked because I was just about to pull out thinking we had a You, uh huh. Although I guess, eh, 
Yeah, I guess they were going straight right there, so they did have the right of way. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm also debating skinning our garage. Haven't decided yet. I might, I might not. it I want to say this is it I feel like yep I feel like head tracking has has made some things better and some things worse I feel like it has made and it could just be that I'm not used to it oh, that's pretty tight um, I feel like it's made parking worse. I'm not happy with my parking since we got the head tracking going. Which sounds sounds like an excuse. I suppose it could be. Um, break here too. Right. Uh, it was not the prettiest, but we got it in there. Lights off. Engine off. Right. So let's unhook this, see how we did. Seven grand. Hey, Rome wasn't built in a day. Right. I don't think we need to sleep. We've only been up for an hour. Let's see if we can find something going down that way. Roscoff. That's a possibility. That may be a, a good possibility. Mets, that's where we came from. Rochelle. Okay, that's a possibility also. 24 tons, that'd be a fun one. And I think it's going to be one of those two. Yeah. Nope, wrong way. Wrong way. Right. So let's, which was it? It's Mets. There we go. That was the one. Dry milk. And what was the other one? Roscoff. Uh, you know, in the interest of, uh, well, making more money for one thing and also just touching all the cities on the coast. Let's go ahead and take that one. Four kilometers to get there and let me let me get us turned around here and I like I said earlier I always forget to do this so an hour and 20 minutes to get there let's see how long is left on the job before we drive all the way up there sixteen hours okay so a little bit of deadheading uh, yeah, you know what? This has been kind of a, a goofy episode anyway, so let's just go ahead and keep it goofy. And I'll I'll include some deadheading. And it'll take us just a few minutes to get there. We'll hook up and then we'll call it good. I'm curious what this is going to do for sleep, whether we'll have enough time to sleep on our way down there. Right? You see what I mean? Does the... Does the job allow enough hours that if we have to sleep we can, or is it a kind of a faster delivery? These are these are the things I I know I've seen YouTubers that are really super methodical 
in the way that they select jobs as far as weight and just everything. And for me, it's typically what pays the most and what looks like the most fun and what's going the direction that I want to go. So I don't, it's not like I feel bad or anything. I mean, that's just the way that I sim. But I'm, I'm well aware that there are people that approach it from a much more um, immersive and authentic perspective. And kudos to them, man, because I don't, I get so excited when I get to the dispatch. Um, let me pull up just a bit and see if it's going to ding me. Now we're in that. Right. We're in that sort of gray area where we have enough money and we don't really have anything to buy. I have all the trucks that I want, I and mean, we can buy other trucks, but I sort of have all the trucks that I want, and, you know, I'm trying to be a good Buddhist and not just mindlessly collect things because I want them or because it's cool to have them, even in the virtual world. I want to be selective about what, what I bring into my program. So we're going to stick with probably five trucks, and if we're not going to buy ton of trucks and if we're not going to teleport then we really have no reason to have a lot of garages our drivers are making good money and you know, if you if you want to use your drivers to make a lot of money so you can buy more garages and trucks so you can hire more drivers to make more money uh, I know I know there are people that their goal is to own every garage on the map or to have you know, 100 drivers or, or however it works out uh, and there's a maximum. Is there not? I think there might be a maximum to how many drivers you can have. But you get what I'm saying. And for us, we, would, we wouldn't we would need to get into that loop of buying garages so we can hire drivers so we can make money to buy garages. We're just not getting into that loop. And if we don't have anything to buy, then we really don't need any money. And if we have, like right now, we have five trucks mostly set up the way I want them and we have 235,000 euro then we're in that area where getting a traffic ticket means absolutely nothing and that's it's both a, I guess a good and a bad place to be because I always want to be mindful of tickets I really think tickets or at least have it as an option you can turn it on so that tickets affect what you get paid and also how you get promotions. I think if tickets held you back from leveling up, I, I mean, I'm as careful as I can be about tickets, but I feel like I would be even that much more careful about tickets. Speaking of tickets, as I'm speeding, I would be even that much more careful about tickets if I knew that getting a ticket could hold me back from leveling up. And I'll, I'll take a look. Periodically, I look to see if there's a mod yet that does that. As far as I know, there's not, but I'll take a look. All right. So we'll go get this hooked up. We'll call it an episode. And we'll pick up from there, from that same spot where we get our job. We'll pick up from there next episode. And then uh, I think I'm going to... get this video set to rendering and grab a bite to eat it's, it's a bit after 9 a.m. here grab a bite to eat and then uh, maybe maybe start my weekend a little bit early maybe just call it for the week it's been a crazy week uh, I, I've made a made a promise never to talk about politics or anything heavy on the channel and uh, my, my politics and Yours too. I mean, that's that's our own personal business. We don't even need to talk about that. So as far as how I feel about you know, one side or the other with all the craziness that's going on in the U.S. right now politically, uh, which side I, I identify with, I would say is not important, but I can still make the observation that it is 
crazy right now. I don't know that I've ever seen it so crazy politically in my life on both sides. I think both sides are, are just completely off the chain right now. And I really don't know how it's going to turn out. I think, I think it could get very, very ugly in the United States, and I hope it doesn't. And then we have everything that's going on with Syria and Russia, and it's just, what a handful, man. What a crazy world. So with that in mind, and with it being Friday the 13th, maybe I'll just make a little truck video and then call it a week. Start my weekend early. And when I say start my weekend early, I mean have a glass of wine. Although, obviously I don't plan to have a glass of wine at 9 o'clock in the morning. Now I'm not using I'm not using any kind of a, a reshade package or anything right now. I've not been terribly impressed with any of the reshades that I've that I've tried. I've tried maybe four or five of them. Just didn't really do it for me. But every now and then I look at my I look at the render that I'm getting and I think, eh, you know, I want it to be I don't know, just different somehow. Right, here we are at the yard. So we'll see. It doesn't have to be a branded trailer, you know, skinned to our company. I would like it to be. It doesn't have to be. See what we got here. Load them up. There we go. Oh, every time it hesitates and, and sputters like that, I worry it's just about to crash. And that's We've been stable for a while. If you remember some of the earlier episodes, we were having some crashes. It was very frustrating. But we seem to have gotten a handle on it. And I'll just take this one. Don't need to get all fancy pants. All right. Pays 30, 30 grand. That's not bad. Okay. Where? Where's our job? There it is. not it's not super tight but the fence is Cool. So, put that in neutral. Right. Let's take a look. Take a look at our job. All right. Yep, I'll do something about that color off camera. Or maybe I won't. I don't know. I'm not I'm not super pleased with it, but at the same time, I do think it makes the, the DAF different than the 164. So, I'll think about it. Would that be appropriate 
to have two different color trucks for the same brand. Folks, thank you so much for stopping by to check out the Portable Gamer. Thanks for joining us for another episode of European Truck Simulator, and we will see you soon. Take care now.